Yep. I did it put up on a 20. <laughs> so, hey, welcome back, everybody. So this is the idea I came up with on the uh, roundhouse here, the uh, 3D printed one. So this is the one that I originally had, the one guy designed that I did not like because he had two bases, but there's no spacer in it. So my brother came up with that little pipe part. And it looks kind of cool, but when and you got this little thing, how are you going to test this little guy to inside that to make sure it's going to... You get to bring you guy too as well. So that don't look right, does it? So I wasted a lot of filament into this, about, I don't know, eight hours into this thing. So that was a waste of filament, but in my time. But lesson learned, I got that though. I can always use down over here or something, but I need resin print some more stuff out for the uh, this one here. But I need to make more spacers for this turntable right here because that goes to that turntable there. So what I did, because this is one big unit, so this is what it looks like all in one shot. I like how he did it, and you can see it's not 100% infill, it's only like maybe like 10 or 15% infill. And then here's the barrel, or the pit. So I took his pile, here, this barrel, and then I used the guy who designed this one, to get his into place where I like it. And now, I can set the trim table up, and it goes up high enough. But fortunately, it's still not tall enough, so I might have to make some spacers like this part right here, and shim it up where it's high enough, so it clears my track. But I don't know how that's going to work. Because you can see right there, and it still has quite a wiggle room under it. But all in all, it looks great. I'm happy with it. A little customization ain't too bad. And then all I have to do is also, I didn't glue this part in yet, but you can see it fits in there this nicely. But I thought about doing is taking this piece, finding a pipe, like a PVC, PVC pipe and the same diameter and just glue it to it and then that'll be going underneath and I can do it by hand and if I want to I can always reprint a new one of these because I'm not going to glue it onto this turntable part because if I want to you know reuse it I could pop it off and be done that way it gives me the opportunity to say like oh if I want to put a motor on it well I can still do it and I can make it motorized He's already got the clamps. I can put the motor right there and have it all where it turns and everything else. So that's another option I can do. But now I gotta figure out track power and all that good stuff yet to this. So there's that. The track. Air piece, because I don't want to lose none of this stuff. But I figured I'd give you all an update on this. I was gonna do it last night, but haven't got around to it because I was getting everything done and kind of get everything where I want it and I'll give you all an update today where I'm having it so this I'm not going to use as this basically going to be parts or whatever no big deal that's one I'm definitely going to use I don't mind the outline like that I don't mind everything does fit in there it will still turn so I'm not too biggie on that part I can always have the track come across up to about right there to the end and I can still turn it the way I want it. So it's gonna look awesome. Uh, how much I hate turntables now. But that's it for right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.